if I'm to start a YouTube channel this year, 2024, here's what I'll have to do. What I will do first, and I order the fundamentals of YouTube. YouTube thumbnail, the one in the title, a description to your video, and acts that are relevant to the video so that the algorithm will be able to, I mean, rank your video. Alright, so you're welcome back to my YouTube channel, Village Boy here. Thank you so much. And you know something? I appreciate you. I salute you for always supporting because right now, you and I made it possible for us to have these huge numbers and views on our platform. If I'm to start a YouTube channel this year, 2024, here is what I would do first. And I call them the fundamentals of YouTube. YouTube is a platform that we put our videos, our content out there. But how do you make it pop? How do you rank it? How do you make it for a lot number of people to watch your video so that you can join YouTube partnership program? You can start making money on YouTube as quickly as possible. No one wants to go to, I mean, become a content creator, film, edit videos and put it out there. And it can take the person like five years before joining the YouTube partnership program. This is so sad and so bad if it happens to you so bad yes yeah, so I call these ones the fundamentals the fundamentals they say when the fundamentals are weak you will definitely be exposed at the very top or you are going to suffer it you are going to suffer for it so make sure you get to know these fundamentals I'm going to share with you now let me talk about them fast fast then you know I don't want to keep you here because a great value is supposed not to take much time number one the fundamentals that I'm going to be talking about is number one is the thumbnail thumbnail a lot of people don't know thumbnail thumbnail is what appears on the video when you go to YouTube or you log into your YouTube all right that the pictures you see on the videos those things are the thumbnails that we call them but it should be descriptive it should be convincing it should be humorous for your audience or for people who will visit YouTube too so that it get the attention of the people they click on your video and watch so when they click on your video it is the thumbnail that grabs you know I mean hold them captive to your video and by clicking on a video it means that you're going to get view right we'll be talking about other things but these are the fundamentals of YouTube so get to understand get to know how to design a very captivating intriguing thumbnail that will help you or will put you at the very top right you don't have to be at the down a lot of people say that the algorithm of YouTube is not you know helpful to them but these are some of the things the algorithm will only help you if you are able to you know master the fundamentals that I'm sharing with you here that is the number one is the thumbnail the thumbnail your ability to design it properly and then ability to design it properly so that when you put it you put your video out there and you put that thumbnail on your video it will be descriptive and relevant to the video you put out there so that the audience or the viewers can click on it and watch your videos then you get your watch hours and then your subscription as well let's continue with the second one the second one is the title you know you go to a platform now let's let's bring it to a, a very certain right i wrote you a letter without a title I wrote you a letter without a, like, a title, a very lengthy letter that you are so occupied to the extent that it, very, it will be very difficult for you to take, I mean, to read over. Can you, you have to read every single point before you can say that this is what a person is talking about. That is why it is very, you know, imperative and very important to title, to title your videos. And with YouTube or on a platform of YouTube, the maximum words that you can use on YouTube for the title is 100 words, right? So with 100 words, you don't exceed it. If you exceed it, the system will flag it, all right? It will tell you that you either reduce it but I am telling you that if you are to title your video the first part of your video or of the title should be very 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 very, very should come I mean the very part that will appear when you visit YouTube you see that some of the text will not appear it will show dot 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 right that text is not appearing but the one that appears make sure that it is very very descriptive and very capturing i mean when i say capturing it it gets the attention of your audience or the viewers on the platform so that they will quickly click on the video they will quickly it will give them that impression that this is what the video is about all right so like i said this is the fundamentals of youtube if i should put in put it out the fundamentals of youtube a simple title you don't have to exceed it all right and each title each word in the title is supposed to begin should be capitalized so let's say fundamentals the fundamentals should begin with capital f fundamentals of then of o of so so each word should be capitalized i believe you are getting it 
right so these are the fundamentals now let's move to the description you have to give a description to your video a description would dis describe your video a little bit all right it will describe what you've talked in the video and so putting a description in the v in a, in, a, in a box that youtube has given you make sure that the very first paragraph is so descriptive and it's relevant to the video that you put out there because people will just uh, you know click on the more to see the description and then they will read the first paragraph to see that wow what if you know per the description you put out there or put here is it relevant or is it the uh, the actual thing that i'm looking forward to see yes so make sure that it is more descriptive descriptive and relevant to, to the video and whatever you talked in a video don't do clickbait clickbait is you you put something that is so deceptive something that is it's not the truth it's not what you've talked in a video that is the title or maybe the description is talking about so don't be don't put out that clickbait because at the end of the day you will not have your retention we'll get to talk about the more details of this so that you get to know how it it works because when i began there's nothing like this to me i had to learn the hard way so i'm sharing with you these are uh, you know the very very fundamentals of youtube get to know this and you are good to go within some few months you get to have your subscribers you get to have your watch hours and you start you get to make a lot of money on the platform now the the, the the fourth one is the tax all right the tax when you go to an example is you visit your your favorite blog your favorite blog site you see at the very top at the sorry at the very bottom when you read the news at the very bottom you see that then whatever the news is you know talking about they have to put some tax right some tax so let's say the news is talking about uh, ghana education so it can have the tag of ghana then education that those are the tax and youtube has given you the opportunity so that you put the tags that are relevant to the video so that the algorithm will be able to i mean rank your video algorithm will be able to i mean capture your video and feed it to the other people that are searching in that are searching for those kind of videos all right by the by the by the appearance of the tags that you're putting into your videos the youtube algorithm will be able to grow and fetch your video and put it on someone's uh, feed for them to watch your videos i believe you are getting the concept now the last part that i'm going to be sharing with you this is the last part of the fundamentals of youtube the last part is end cards so the end cards what it happens is that when you are watching a video you all bear with me that when you're about to end the video at the very top right corner there's something that appears there so the video that you put at the end card will show that maybe the next video right they will with the title perfectly it will show there so if the person is interested in watching the next video the person will not come back to the home screen go back to your you know your home page where you you have your videos a bunch of videos to be scrolling up and down and do it no you are making your platform or your site so descriptive and easy to navigate so without the end card it shows that okay this is the next video the guy is talking about or maybe the next video that is telling me i should go and watch but then um, the user or the, uh, the viewer or the audience will click on it and begin to watch that video and that alone will improve your uh, you know your watch time will improve your retention you know we improve so many things your subscriber line and everything that you are supposed to have on the platform to make you join the youtube partnership program so here are the i've already shared them here are the five uh, how many fundamentals of youtube if i'm to start youtube today then i will do this i will have to understand master all these things so that when i begin shooting my videos i know how to put it out there for youtube algorithm to favor me and show my videos to a lot of a lot of people on the platform so that i'll get the highest views and subscribers thank you so much for making time village boy here if this video is helpful then you may consider subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your audience or with your network i believe you like it and you love it if there are many more things that you expect me to do or you expect me to talk about leave it in the comment section that is why the comment section is all for us or to have an, an engagement and interactive section and so leave it there and i'm going to do just that thank you so much and